welcome back to Pets 101. And in this video, I'm going to show you some DIYs for your pets, specifically cat, dog, and rabbits. So stay tuned. As you know, rabbits like to hide a lot. And I wanted to share with this DIY. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. You just get a box, cut off the flaps, and make little door entrances. I did this on a longer box. You can see it goes all the way back there. And I did this one on a chewy box. So it has three entrances. Remember, make always more than one entrance on any rabbit tunnel you make because they like to be able to exit from multiple ways so they can feel safe. If a predator comes in this way, they can scurry out the other way. So yeah, and I think this is a really great one to give you rabbit a place to hide at all times. So the next hack is going to be outside or you can do it inside, but it's kind of messy. So I'm doing it outside. So I have my hay from inside in a little cardboard box. And I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to make. Okay, so now I'm just getting my hay into a little bunch here. And I'm going to grab a piece of hay. Here's blue, casually interrupting my videos. I'm going to grab another piece of, like, more flexible hay and tie it around twice. And then I'm basically just going to start braiding upward. And I do have to kind of shake it so that all the hay falls out. And so you don't have any, like, really, really loose pieces. And, you know, just kind of finish braiding. And then find another flexible piece of hay and tie up your little hay toy. So here I did the same thing with the hay toy. I tied it at the top, I braided some grass, and now I'm just gonna tie it up just like it did with the hay toy. It's basically just the same exact thing. So here I'm tying with the grass. And you can get some flexible grass, which is easy to knot with, or you can just use some twine if you struggle too much. So I'm just snippeting off the little excess pieces of grass and the ones on the outside. It was like a two hack in one kind of thing since they were basically the same idea. This one's with hay, this one's with grass. They'll probably eat this one first and then this one will be, you know, for later. Uh, I just did a little disclaimer. These can be for guinea pigs too, hamsters, whatever likes hay. So, yes. Hey guys, so the next hack is for dogs. So, specifically dogs. There's a lot of tricks out in the book. Uh, toys, everything like that. But this one hasn't really been heard of, I hope. Okay, so first I'm going to get a muffin tin, and I have a six-pan muffin tin. And conveniently, I only had five balls for my dogs, but you just stick the little tennis balls. It can be squeaky balls, whatever. And you just put them in there. And before, I'm just going to show you how they fit. You're going to place the amount of balls. You're going to place little treats. So I have these, and you can kind of break them in half, placing them in my little muffin tins. And then, yeah, place the tennis balls on top. So I'm going to go and give you my, you my dog's reaction to this hat. last hack is for your cat and basically what all you do is a pin all you're gonna need is a pin and some string and I'm just gonna loop my string into my pin and I'm gonna tie a knot there doing that now okay so now it's just like a little string toy and I'm gonna insert some footage of me playing with the cat with it Don't forget to comment to tell me about a video that you want and subscribe, of course. You can see the bunny's reaction to this toy also. 